night, Governor Tate Reeves in the national spotlight with a cable news interview standing by the state's COVID response despite leading the nation in the number of COVID deaths per capita. Fox 23's Quintus Jones joins us now with more on what the governor had to say. Good evening. The governor's comments getting a lot of attention. The interview mainly addressed the state's fight against COVID-19. We told you last week Mississippi now leads the nation in COVID deaths per capita. That means we have surpassed states like New York and New Jersey. Also, the governor has stood firm on not issuing any statewide mandates. When asked about the state's death rate, here's what the governor had to say. So with all due respect, governor, your way is failing. Jake, as, as I mentioned earlier, deaths, unfortunately, are a lagging indicator. Our total number of cases went from 100 to 3,600, and over the last two weeks has declined. They have been cut in half from 3,600 to 1,800. When you wanted me to come so you think three, it's, four so weeks you think ago, you want to successful? talk about our number of cases. And then you want to talk about our hospitalizations. Now you want to talk about a lagging indicator. Uh, which uh, is sad and, and it's I'm trying horrible. to talk about and dead I, I, Mississippians is what I'm trying to talk all about. All 9,000 Mississippians that have passed away. Now more than 9,000 people have died as a result of the virus. Mississippi also has one of the lowest vaccination rates in the nation. Quintus Jones, Fox 23 News, Hattiesburg.